Former President Barack Obama unleashing his most scathing attack yet against Mr. Trump. That's what's at stake right now. Our democracy. The former president making his case for why he believes President Trump has failed the country. Donald Trump hasn't grown into the job because he can't. Calling the president self-absorbed and unfit for office. He has shown no interest in putting in the work. No interest in treating the presidency as anything but one more reality show that he can use to get the attention he craves. And he laid out why he believes his vice president of eight years has what it takes to lead. He made me a better president, and he's got the character and the experience to make us a better country. His words coming as Senator Kamala Harris made history overnight. I accept your nomination for vice president. Becoming the first woman of color on a major party ticket, the former California attorney general wasted no time prosecuting the case against President Trump. Donald Trump's failure of leadership has cost lives, and livelihoods. We have a president who turns our tragedies into political weapons. Harris adding the president has failed in his handling of COVID and in this moment of racial strife. Let's be clear. There is no vaccine for racism. We've got to do the work. The night was filled with other history-making women in the party. The first female House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, former Congresswoman Gabrielle Giffords, who survived a 2011 shooting in her home state of Arizona. Words once came easily. Today, I struggle to speak, but I have not lost my voice. Progressive firebrand Elizabeth Warren and the country's first woman to seize the mantle of her party's presidential nomination, Hillary Clinton. For four years, people have told me, I didn't realize how dangerous he was. I wish I could do it all over. Or worse, I should have voted. Look, this can't be another woulda, coulda, shoulda election. And with President Trump's increasing attacks against mail-in voting, President Obama with this urgent warning. Do not let them take away your power. Do not let them take away your democracy. Make a plan right now for how you are going to get involved and vote. President Trump watching all of this closely from the White House, tweeting in the middle of former President Obama's speech, quote, he spied on my campaign, despite the fact that there is no evidence of that. Now, as for tonight, Joe Biden is going to reinforce the central message of his campaign. He says he is fighting for the very soul of this nation.